The prosecution has rested in the murder trial of Andre Jackson, the man accused of stabbing an 11-year-old boy to death. Josue Flores was attacked while walking home from school on the north side. That was nearly six years ago. Today, an official from a private Florida lab testified the boy's DNA was on Andre Jackson's jacket. Adam Bennett has been following the trial since day one. Adam, Flores' mother also taking the stand today. She did lend Maria Flores testified that her son wanted to be a doctor when he grew up and that he would have been 18 years old this year. Flores' father, Juan, cried as Maria Flores talked about her son's final moments. Andre Jackson admitted to police he's the man in the green jacket seen running away from the area Josue Flores was stabbed minutes after the crime on May 17, 2016. Today, a senior DNA analyst testified her private Florida lab found some of Flores' DNA on that jacket's cuff. Rachel Ophelein with DNA Labs International said 85% of the DNA belonged to Jackson, 10% to Flores, and 5% from an unknown person. That's evidence a grand jury saw in 2019 when they indicted Jackson. Two years earlier, his initial murder charge had been dropped because DNA testing by Texas DPS came back inconclusive. Where DNA gets under the fabric, MVAC is able to retrieve that, that DNA. The Florida lab uses a newer technology called MVAC. Cold Case Sergeant Richard Rodriguez told the court today, the technology is always changing from 2016 to 2019, and we wanted to see what else we could do to solve this case. The defense said because of the small amount of DNA on the cuff, the DNA could have come to be on the cuff in a variety of ways. How do you catch DNA on your clothes? Do we just catch it by the air? No. There has to be that very close contact. The state's final witness was Maria Flores, Josue's mom. Through a translator, she testified she was two blocks away from the spot where her son was stabbed when she got the call with the news. Flores says she rode in the front of an ambulance while paramedics tried to save her son in the back. When they arrived at the hospital, she said, his eyes were open and I thought, my son is already dead. Maria says she broke the news to her husband, saying, when he entered, I told him that my son was dead. The defense called their first of three witnesses this afternoon. A forensic analyst testified that he thought that the uh, DNA on Flores' shirt uh, could have been collected if it wasn't for mold growth. He believes that that was due to uh, improper storage on the part of officials. But we could be hearing closing arguments in this case very, very soon, possibly as soon as tomorrow. Len. All right, Adam, thank you. Today